What's up guys? Welcome to another taste test. This time we are testing out something that I'm sure is not new to any American. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> and uh, we have heard of, I think we've heard of Girl, Girl Scout cookies since uh, we were kids. I mean, it it's kind of perviated like pop, the pop, well, pop culture, like since we were kids. Yeah. So we've heard about it in like in Cartoon Network and yeah, yeah it's, it's as, a, as, as American as American pie. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But we have never tasted it before. Never. And uh, if you saw, I think it was a test or something. Yeah, it was a taste test of an American box we got from our friend Cece. And she gave us all of this. So we wanted to make a separate video. So this will just like be a quick video of us testing it now. Norwegians trying Girl Scout cookies for the first time. And we have to be a bit quick because the Thin Mints, we have them here, we put them in the freezer per per recommendations. Yeah. So. And we have a glass of milk as well. Yeah. <laughs> in case you want it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so which do you, do you want us to have? Uh, trefoils, Tagalongs, Thin Mints, Toffee This tacos. tells me nothing. No. The only thing I've heard of, I think, is Thin Mints. Let's start with this one. Yeah. The Trefoils. The Traditional shortbread cookies. Oh, they smell. Oh my god, that they smells sm like it smells like um, a sugar cookie or something. Yeah, uh, uh, it, but it smells like a, a cookie we used to have. If you saw our like uh, the vlogmas, the trying out uh, Norwegian Christmas cookies, they look kind of like that, but yeah. they smell so much sweeter. Yeah. Mmm. It smells more than it tastes, mm -hmm. but it's kind of like a Norwegian Christmas cookie. Yeah, it is. Yeah. And it smells... I'm gonna dip it. Me too. Yeah, it's good. It smells more like sugar, but it tastes more like flour. Yeah, it's kind of like a basic mm -hmm. cookie. It, it is good, but it tastes more flowery than I thought it would. Yeah, like the aftertaste is flour. Mm -hmm. I mean, they're good. I, I, I can see myself munching on them for a while <laughs> but they're kind of tasteless yeah i think anyway. i would have something on that maybe oh. jam or something dip that in chocolate mm -hmm. or make it in put it into a cake or something oh yeah use it as a cheesecake yeah um, uh, crust yeah I like then it that. would be good but on its own i think it's a six yeah six mm -hmm. that's fair good all right next one you want to choose let's do the toffee testing okay I mean that has to be good. I can I can just see it now. Yeah, these are bigger. That's yeah. a good sign. I'm sure someone probably has the answer to this, but aren't all the Girl Scout cookies the same in oh. every kind of state, or is it like regional? Like on the in the West Coast, you have certain types, and yeah. It says toffee tastic, and uh, it smells like pure toffee. Yeah. Oh, that was a lot more. Crunchier. Mm -hmm. I, I think I'm sitting behind the... Oh yeah. <laughs> I kind of thought they were going to have like a really soft chewy caramel in the middle, if you know what I mean. Yeah, so me like too. So when you bite down, it kind of is like pulls. Yeah. But this was more like... It's crunchy. Yeah, it's kind of like they've had caramel bits in it and baked them. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's good though. Yeah. The caramel is burnt. Yeah. That's lovely. Mm. And it was better with milk. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It is... Uh, a good like butter flavor. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Mmm. I like those. I like that. Mm, I'm gonna um, give that one a seven. Mm-hmm. Because I think there's others here. I'm kind of biased because I'm a chocolate guy. <laughs> yeah. So but, um, I'm kind of guessing that some of these are gonna be better. Yeah. I'm giving it a seven because I think I would buy it again. Then this I one. think we're yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Tagalongs, crispy cookies layered with peanut butter and covered with chocolate coating. That sounds. I mean, that very sounds good. like our kind of jam. Yeah. It's funny how they all come in different trays and stuff. Yeah. Ooh, this is uh, more softer on top. Yeah. Mmm. Mmm. Oh my god, that's so soft. Mmm. Oh, that's that's delicious. It mm. has this like thin. I thought maybe it was caramel, but it said it, it was peanut butter. Peanut butter. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. On top. That was really good. I'm noticing that it's so hot here now mm -hmm. that the chocolate is kind of like all melty. Yeah. So I is. would, I think I would prefer those in the fridge. Yeah, I actually think those would be a bit better in the fridge as well. Yeah, but they were, they were wonderful. Great flavor. I wish it was more salt. Yeah. 
but the peanut butter flavor was really good. Yeah. It didn't taste like covered. I don't know if I would prefer that one over the, the caramel one. No? No. I do. You do? Yeah, I prefer that one over that one. Okay. Yeah. I think the caramel one had more flavor, more intense flavor. I actually disagree. I think that one had more. Okay. <laughs> I'm giving it a seven. I'm also. giving it an eight. Mm. Mm -hmm. Okay. It was good. Then there's the Samo Samoa. Yeah, what is Samoa? This uh, I'm excited for. For this, this has coconut. Coconut. That looks so good. Yeah. It's crisp cookies with caramel, coconut, and dark chocolatey stripes. It smells so. Smell it. Yeah. It's it smells it's pure toast coconut. toasted coconut. Mmm. Oh my god. Wow. Okay. So far, hands down, the best one. Mm -hmm. The to that toasted coconut. Mm -hmm. Also, like the cookie. When you when you look at it, you don't expect it to be cookie inside. Mm -mm. It was a perfect consistency. It was not too hard. It kind of blended in with the other stuff, but the layer outside was kind of soft. Yeah, and the chocolate also. It was like it wasn't like chocolate covered, but it's like nicely. Yeah. Just a sprinkle. Yeah. Oh my god, that was good. I'm gonna. And the toasted coconut was just perfect. Yeah. Um. I mean. I think it's it's a nine. Yeah, a yeah. nine. Yeah. <laughs> I was thinking nine as well. All right, so we're on to the last one. Yeah. The thin mint. Yes. Chocolate coat coated, but dark chocolate. It looks like. Oh, it smells just like an after eight. Yeah, it does. Mmm. Mmm. That's actually quite good. Mm -hmm. I thought I expected an after eight layer inside. <laughs> no, I don't I know did, why. I did too. But this is just uh, a chocolate cookie. Well, mm. yeah, with mint. That, uh, I'm, I'm always like in awe of the mind that I won't like mint flavored things. Mm -hmm. But every time we try them, I'm always pleasantly surprised. Yeah. <laughs> Except for a couple of occasions. But that was actually really good. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure if that's because it was in the freezer or just in general. But it was nice that it was cold. It yeah. made it kind of more refreshing. Yeah. I think these, because they have a chocolate coating. Yeah. I think they're better cold. Yeah. Like, I mean, or hard at least. But yeah, the Thin Mints, really good. Tastes like after eight, <laughs> if you're used to that. Um, still, the the mint, it's just like, it's good, but I would rather have something without mint. Mm. If you know what I mean. Yeah. But if you're a mint person, I think you will love that. Oh yeah. But I think that for me may be a six and a half. I'm gonna give I'm it being a, harsh now. I'm gonna give it a seven. Okay. Yeah. But on the bright side, you do have a fresh breath after yeah. these. So they're good for like when you have a dessert and you get like a dessert and brush your teeth at the same time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah, hands down, the that Samoas. Yeah. That's the winner. And like if there was a loser, because I, I enjoyed them all. I think maybe these were kind of like the... Yeah. I think so too. Planes. They need something else. Yeah. The other one here we will probably serve uh, when our families are over. Mm -hmm. This one we will have to ourselves. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We're not sharing those. No. Yeah, show them inside. Actually, it's like this thick chocolate layer underneath. Will I give it nine? On the second one, I'm going to give it nine and a half. That is so good. Now, I kind of thought that we going to be. The uh, only reason why I'm not giving them a 10 is because they're not too crispy. The kind of, I, I mm. was expecting it to be more like the um, uh, the toffee ones. The toffee one, yeah. But they're kind of a bit more. They seem almost kind of like um, yeah. Doesn't matter. Nine and a half. To me, they're also they're also higher than a nine. Yeah. I don't know if nine and a half is to push it, but okay, I'll give it. Hey. <laughs> 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 okay. That was fun. That was fun. I've oh, always well. always wanted to try Girl Scout cookies. Yeah, me too. It's like you hear about it in movies and everything. So yeah. now, now we've now two Norwegians have finally done it. Yeah. Now I know what tagalongs is, and some of us. Yeah. I uh, hope you enjoy this taste test. And if you have anything else you want us to test, as always, leave that below, and we will check if we can get it. We are very limited here in Norway, so please understand that when you come with your suggestions. I think ninety percent of the times we can't get it. But yeah. Do let us know and we will check. Uh, give it a like if you liked it and subscribe if you haven't. And we will see you in the next video. Bye.